Katie from Nomadic Snowbirds. Today, I'm gonna to make a frittata. I've made them before, but this time I'm going to make a different um, style. The great thing about frittatas is they're good for any meal of the day, and you can basically clean out the refrigerator to make them whatever ingredients you like. Today I'm going to do one with Fontina cheese, because I've always used cheddar, and it's a smoother cheese, and since I'm going to have spinach and mushrooms, I thought a smoother cheese might taste better. Without my dry ingredients, there's um, some organic Dijon mustard, organic thyme leaves, salt and pepper, and of course mustard's not dry, but it got thrown in there. And um, to start off, you mix your herbs with um, some half and half. And you use about a quarter of a cup, half of a cup really, of half and half, but I use what I like, which is a lot. <laughs> it says four large eggs, and I'm going to determine by the time I get my vegetables uh, softened how many eggs I really need. So I'll start out with four. Sometimes I think you need a little bit more just to make it um, the right consistency. Whisk all this together. So this is four eggs, a little more than a, around a fourth of a cup of half and half, half a teaspoon of Dijon, a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, fourth a teaspoon of pepper, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. None of those are accurate, they're just kind of what I like to use. After you get the egg mixture uh, all whisked, you add your Fontina cheese, which uh, is about two ounces, maybe three, shredded up, and then whisk all that together. And set it aside while you do your vegetables. I'm gonna heat up my pan with a tablespoon of either olive oil or butter. I prefer butter, so that's what I'm using today. I'm gonna cut up some shallot, I need about a fourth a cup of shallot. You can use green onion, purple onion, white onion, yellow onion. I'm just trying something different. So first thing you do is take your mushrooms. And I got baby bellas. They were on sale and I've never actually tried them so I'm going to give that a try. You put them in your skillet and I'm using an 8 inch skillet. There are only two of us so I'm not doing the 10 inch size. Uh, it's recommended you use a cast iron skillet to get the consistency uh, that you want with this um, frittata. I'm going to melt the butter and add the mushrooms. The mushrooms need to be cooked until the, flu the, uh, until the fluid is cooked out of them, the moisture, so they don't make your frittata soggy. So this will take a couple of minutes. Be right back with you. Let me get these cooked. Okay, the mushrooms are about uh, prepared, so now I'm going to add the shallots. The good thing about this is it's kind of one pan, except to prepare it for the video, I've used a lot of pans. So you put the shallots in, and you keep them a couple of minutes, about four minutes, so you want to get them soft. This will be about four minutes. Okay, after the shallots cook, I'm gonna add your spinach, a little bit at a time, so it has enough room to wilt. Turn that heat up. When it starts to wilt, go ahead and add some more. Supposed to be about two cups of spinach, chopped uh, roughly. I have my convection oven preheating to 400 degrees. Since I'm using a cast iron skillet, I took the glass uh, plate out of there. Also, since the skillet has a handle on it, I'm going to turn off the um, turntable so it'll just sit there at bay. I love the convection oven. It's a microwave convection oven, and in this um, RV, it works great. I can cook, I've cooked a turkey dinner, everything that goes with Thanksgiving 
in this oven and in this little kitchen. Now this is just about to the consistency. You want the mushroom soft, the onion soft, and the spinach wilted. <laughs> the spinach is wilted, the mushrooms are soft, and the scallops, shallots are soft. I'm going to stir, lower the temperature a little bit, and I'm going to put in the egg mixture, egg and cheese mixture. Stir it around a little bit. And then it goes in the oven supposed to be 10 to 15 minutes so we'll keep an eye on it about 400 degrees 10 to 15 minutes frittata is very flexible uh, some recommend baking it at four, 350 so you know it's very flexible convection 400 degrees I'm gonna go 15 minutes and monitor done in the center and you don't want it to get brown you want it to stay nice and tender I'm going to let it cool for a few minutes and then we're going to cut it and devour it be right back at 400 degrees this went for 10 minutes and it appears to be cooked correctly I'm going to cut it into four slices which means we'll each eat two <laughs> I need a smaller spatula. There we go. Looking forward to trying this with the patana cheese. Okay. Like I said, every time is different. This time I tried the patina cheese. I'm going to see if it tastes good. Mm. Oh my goodness. I highly recommend trying this. If you like this show, please give us a thumbs up, and if you would, follow our link. Thank you.